So there is no minimum budget that you have to set to run a Google Ads campaign. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the steps where if I was going to create a campaign with just a $1 a day budget, what I would actually do. You're gonna to have to make a lot of compromises in the campaign setup and full disclosure, long-term, you're not gonna to wanna to have a Google Ads campaign with just a $1 a day budget. It's simply not enough click volume to actually be able to make a meaningful difference for your business. Now with that said, it is possible to do. It's possible to create a campaign with that low of a budget. My name's Scott Redgate, I'm an online marketing coach and I create weekly videos to help businesses like you manage their online marketing campaigns and that includes their Google Ads strategies. All right, so before I walk you through the steps for creating a campaign with a ridiculously low budget, I do wanna say this. Normally, I wouldn't even recommend launching a Google Ads campaign or starting an account unless you're willing to spend $20 a day and then be willing to spend more than that over time. And that's going to differ significantly based on the business that you're in. And the reason for that is because in some industries, like let's say you're a lawyer, for example, there's some searches out there where if someone clicks your ad, it might cost you several hundreds of dollars just for that one click. I remember seeing one stat where if you were a lawyer and you were targeting the keyword mesothelioma lawyer, you had to pay $500 just to get a single click to your advertisement. So as you can see, if you're a lawyer, a $1 a day campaign strategy is not gonna work for you. So why would you want to launch a campaign with just $1 a day? Well, maybe you're a new business and you've heard about Google ads and you've heard good things and you wanna get a feel for it. You wanna see what the campaign creation setup is like. You wanna get an understanding about what's the difference between search campaigns and display campaigns and performance max. It could be reasonable that you just wanna launch a super small campaign just to go through the steps and see what it's like. And even beyond that, like there's a chance that you could actually get several clicks per day for that $1 a day budget. So without further ado, let's run through the steps of creating a $1 a day Google Ads campaign. I'm gonna share with you the exact campaign type that I would set up, the settings that I would double down on, and also some of the settings that I know that with such a low budget, you're gonna to have to be a little bit more lenient on. So let's dive in. Right now we are in the Google Ads interface. This is my dummy account. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this plus sign right here, which allows us to create a new campaign. And if I only had a single dollar budget per day, the campaign type that I would launch would be a search campaign. And one of the ways that you can get to a search campaign is by selecting this option, create a campaign without a gold's guidance, and then you can select the search campaign type. My guess is because you're watching a video on a $1 a day Google Ads account budget, uh, you're not gonna have any conversion goals set up. And you know what? That's okay for a campaign of this size. You're just trying to get a feel for the Google Ads interface and what it might be able to do for your business. And now with this option right here, it's asking what results do you want from this campaign? You're gonna select website visits and then you're gonna input your website name. So my website URL is scottredgate.com and then you're gonna select continue and then you're going to name the campaign. And now we're gonna go through some of the settings for this campaign creation. Now, if you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, some of the settings that I'm gonna select here are different from what I typically de default to because normally the campaigns that I create are are performance-based, meaning we're trying to drive a certain number of leads or revenue for a business and so the settings that I select are appropriate to that goal. But the $1 a day campaign that we're selecting is more focused on how can I drive cheap clicks? Uh, how can I even drive clicks that are less than $1 per click? And so we're not going to be doing all those settings that are conversion focused. And so right here where it says, what do you want your campaign to focus on? We're actually gonna select clicks and then it's going to say set a maximum cost per click limit. And so we're gonna select that and I'm assuming you're not in a niche where you're something like a lawyer or you're selling high priced HVAC equipment. And so those industries would require a lot higher bid limit. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to input 25 cents. So if we have a campaign that has a $1 a day budget and we're actually able to generate clicks for 25 cents, that means that you'll be able to drive four clicks in a day for that campaign. 
and then we're gonna scroll down and then you'll see this option here where it's asking for customer acquisition, bid for new customers only. As you get a little bit more advanced in Google Ads, you can really create campaigns to target new customers, to target existing customers, to have retargeting campaigns. But for this campaign that we're walking through, this $1 a day campaign, uh, we're not going to pay any attention to this one and we're gonna select next. All right, so next up, it's asking us what networks we want our search campaign to be on. All right, so it says the search network, and then it says, do you include the Google search partners and the display network? Do you want to include the display network? And so even though this is a $1 a day campaign, I do not care. I am always going to exclude running a search campaign on the Google Display Network. It's best practice to not include the Display Network. And the reason why is because the Display Network behaves really differently compared to the Search Network. So the next option here is the Google Search Partners. Normally, for conversion-based search campaigns, I would say you do not want to include it. But the benefit of the Search Partner Network is the cost per click is usually less than just the standard Google search network. So for a $1 a day campaign, we're going to include the search partners. Okay, so next up we are at the location setting and so select the location. Now keep in mind, for a $1 a day campaign, you're going to want to be flexible on this and so let's say you have a local business and normally you would target only a five mile radius or something along those lines you're going to want to expand that because the more people that you could have potentially seeing the ads of this campaign the cheaper the clicks could potentially be and since we only have one dollar a day that we're working with this could be a deciding factor for whether you even get a few clicks all right and so underneath this location option setting i'm still going to select presence versus presence and in, in, or interest and the reason why is because presence targets people that are regularly in your location whereas presence or interest could target people that are far 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 away and might just be looking for information about your town from a far away distance for more advanced and conversion-based search campaigns, I do recommend adding in audience segments and doing that in observation mode. And so you can see the statistics that particular audiences are converting at inside of a campaign, and it actually doesn't even impact your campaign's performance. But since this is a $1 a day campaign, we're gonna skip over that. And then this broad match keywords default setting isn't even an option because we have the maximize clicks campaign setting. We're going to skip over this more settings option, but one thing that I'll call out here is that if you do want to run your ads during a particular ad schedule, uh, you could set the days and times of the week that you want your ads to be running. And now we're greeted with a screen where Google and their AI, they want to assist in the ad creation process. Now, I've had mixed results with this, and so essentially what you do is you input your URL and you describe what makes your product or services unique, and then Google will actually fill in and create ad copy for you. And so I'll click generate so you can see what that looks like here. And so now that Google's AI has run, uh, you can see that it, it has input a couple of keywords that they're saying that I could potentially target. And then you can also see that they actually filled in um, a lot of the different headlines and descriptions um, for this particular ad. And so for this video, we're not going to create an advertisement. Uh, you can run through and you can see the recommendations that Google has. And for conversion-based search campaigns, I do recommend taking some time, seeing what the competition is including in their advertisements, using other AI tools like ChatGPT to really help you refine and get good headlines and descriptions, but we're not gonna do that today. So the last thing that I wanna share with you is the keywords option. So there are three keyword match types that you have. Google gives you broad match, phrase match, and they give you exact match. Yet again, I have another video all about broad versus phrase versus exact. But something that I want you to keep in mind is that broad match is going to be the least expensive of all the different keyword match types. And the reason why is because with broad match keywords, Google will show your ad to people that are typing in search terms that can be pretty far away from the keyword that you actually input. So for example, let's say you sell basketball shoes and you input the keyword basketball shoes. With broad match, your advertisement might show for someone searching something like 
sandals with a basketball logo on it. Obviously, that's not the intent of what you input. You want to show your ads to people that are searching for basketball shoes and basketball sneakers, but when you have broad match and it's not conversion-based, so you don't have a target return on ad spend set or a target CPA, Google can go pretty far away from what you actually input as your keyword if you have it on broad match. Now, I will say that Google has gotten better over the years with that. And so the example that I gave with the sandals, that might be a stretch, but you can get the idea that if you select broad match, it's going to be the cheapest in terms of the cost per click that you actually pay usually, but your advertisement might show to search terms that you really didn't want to appear for. But since this is a $1 a day campaign, Every penny counts. And so we are going to use broad match as the match type because quite frankly, you might not even get a single click if you have exact match as your keyword target. It's going to be just too limited for you. And so continuing to use this example with basketball shoes, we're going to want to input more keywords in here. It's going to be crucial to include more than just one and the reason why is because if you just have one, again, you're limiting the options for who Google could potentially show your ad to. And the more limited you are, the more expensive it's going to be. And since we have such a limited budget, uh, that's not going to work. So I'm gonna go into Google Gemini and I'm gonna input this prompt. I'm gonna say, give me 20 keyword ideas in Google ads surrounding basketball shoes shoes and you can see that Google was able to give me about 20 keywords here so I'm going to go back into the keyword section and I'm going to paste them in now for your business obviously your keyword list is going to be different unless you actually do sell basketball shoes um, but you can use that same process where you use Google Gemini and if you want some additional prompts on, that you can use that can actually benefit your Google Ads account I created a product it's called the AI online marketing playbook I'll provide a link in the description below to that but it has dozens of prompts that can really help you out and drive better results for you in your digital marketing efforts Okay, so now that we have our keywords, and as I said, we're not gonna run through the ad creation process, I'll just take Google's word for it. We're gonna select next, and now we are at the budget screen, and so we're going to set a $1 a day budget. And you can see we got this message from Google where it says your budget is lower than other advertisers' budgets, which may affect performance. Try raising it to at least $49.99 per day. Yeah, if you run a budget this low for a long period of time, it might just drop to zero. And so this is not something that you're going to want to do long term. But again, if you're just trying to get the feel for Google ads and tr create a campaign and see what the cost per click is like or get a feel for it, this could be a step that you take. And so now that we have our $1 budget set, I'm going to go in and select next. And I'm going to select publish. And voila, that is how you can launch a campaign with just a $1 a day Google Ads budget. Well, hey friends, I hope this video was helpful for you. Could you do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel? That will give me a little boost, a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm as I try to create more helpful content for businesses like you. Thank you so much.